Delighted to now be joined by Jao Morelli, who has announced his retirement. Jao, pleasure to speak to you. I know it's probably not in necessarily the the, the the news that you probably wanted to share, but how are you feeling? How are you emotional, fe- emotionally feeling today? Hey, yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, um, it's a mix of emotions, obviously. Um, it's really hard to, it was really hard to, to make that decision. Um, but I'm happy overall. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm sure that that's the right decision. Um, I have to, I have to take care of my son and he's the priority right now. So, um, staying home is the best option for, for my family. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy for everything I've, I've done in football. So everything's good. As you should be. So it's nice to see that you feel quite content with the decision. Um, talk us through coming to that decision uh was this in your mind in the acl recovery of 2022 and then did you get that extra life in 2023 a little bit that you didn't think you were going to have and a bit of a bonus like how's this past couple of years been for you in the recovery from injuries yeah 100 percent um after my injury my acl injury i basically i was 100 percent sure that i was going to retire but then uh, you know, you start thinking like, how can I retire after an injury and not try again? And so my, like, I turn, I turn my 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 mindset around, and I was like, okay, let's go back to football and 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 maybe prove myself, not not everyone else, but myself that I could do it again. And yeah, like I I did, and uh, like I I'm happy what, with what I did this year. Uh, was really really good to to show my myself my family that I could do it again and obviously playing in Halifax where I love playing is really special so yeah I was thinking of retiring and I think I just needed that little extra you know to to really decide that that was the right decision so how how do you look back on your career obviously you and I have had many chats about your career and um, you know, going to Europe as a teenager, going to the northern northern England, and the and the as you you alluded to, a few of the dark nights and the difficult moments that you had, and then taking you to Estonia and then bringing you to Canada and 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 ending on a on a high in terms of getting those goals. Like, how do you summarize this past ten years plus? Honestly, I'm really happy with everything I've done, every decision I made. Uh, you know. Sometimes you look back and say, "Oh, maybe I could have gone that that way and not this way. Maybe I could have stayed in Brazil a little bit more because of my style of playing. Maybe you know, there's a lot of maybes in life, but at the end, it's just uh, it's God's plan, and I'm really happy. I enjoyed my career. It's been ten years as a professional. Obviously, I played in youth team in in England, but it was a professional environment, and uh." I'm happy with everything I've done. Um, I'm pretty sure that I, if if it wasn't my injuries along the way, I could have gone much further. But it's you know, as I said, it's God God's plan, and you have to respect it and, and just have faith that it's not forever. You know, football is not forever. So, anyways, even if it's right now or in ten years, I was gonna retire anyway. And the pain in, in my heart is the same. But now I have a bigger reason, so it's easier to make that decision. But overall, my career was really good for me, for my family, everything. So, perfect. <laughs> you mentioned God's plan a couple of times there in faith, so let's let's go there. You have not had, um, in, in terms of full, full highs all your career, you've had an up and down m- emotional ride here. Uh, perseverance and patience and faith or call it whatever you need Um, as I said leaving home to go to the north of England not knowing anybody there going to Estonia where it was cold and dark and then coming to a new country like Canada and what you brought to us and not knowing many people how important was um, your mental fortitude throughout that moment and and your relationship with God which I know comes from when you were 10 uh, and you fractured your skull and and many people didn't even know you would be here today yeah yeah, um, going to England was, was really hard at first because it was a completely different culture. And 
I was too young. When when you turn 18, you think you know everything, but you know nothing. And I learned a lot. I think he helped me a lot uh, to get more mature uh, in even like outside football. But living in place different places is like good for yourself. And but it was hard. It was really hard not speaking any English at first, and then learning that accent <laughs> from Middlesbrough, and then. As I said before, I, I accept a lot of tough challenges and, and I went to Estonia. I didn't even know what to expect. And it was good for me as well as I played Europa League qualifiers and very good, different experience I've had along the way. And, uh, but yeah, like it, it was hard, but it was joyful, you know, like I, I enjoyed a lot. Um, and I, I have a very close relationship with God. So I try a, as much as I can to like talk to him and try to, you know, comfort myself that he's all, he's behind all this. So um, you have, as I said, you have to believe and, and go, just go forward. You can, you can even look back and because maybe you'll miss something. So it was hard, but very, very, very good for my, myself for my life for my mindset in the future whatever i'm gonna do so everything is positive and that journey brought you to your final football destination in the wonderful place of halifax nova scotia where i know you never felt things there that you ever felt before right like what was that like yeah. and what how will you look back on your on your final football chapter yeah honestly i think that was one of the best decisions i've made i know the league is not big i know it's not respected by a lot of people but it's still like life is all about enjoying yourself and being happy so as i i told everyone like the 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 improvements that the league made already in five years is unbelievable so um make may, like to be part of this is really nice part of the history so um yeah that's that's one very good decision I made as like I accepted another tough challenge that's something that I didn't even know and um I was happy there and enjoyed myself it, it, it really hurts me knowing that I'm not going to be there anymore but you know at one point I was going to have to leave anyways so <laughs> it's better to do it right now <laughs> but yeah um I'm really happy with the the growth of the club and and the league knowing that they're going to build a stadium and i told i told matt figan i was like i'm going to be there for the for the to watch it in the new stadium with my son for sure 100 percent. so yeah i enjoyed i enjoyed it a lot i i think i've had like more ups than than downs like individually in halifax so that's that's a place in uh in people that i will remember forever for sure yeah, no doubt about it. You brought a lot of smiles to a lot of people's faces in Halifax and uh, brought that magic there that obviously, you know, they needed to feel that. Um, you know, no one better than th those runs into the box, my friend, and finding that space and smacking it with the one-timer <laughs> like you did, the, the late winner in Ottawa and things like that. You've had a uh, great uh, few moments, yeah. like a few more moments with you, if you don't mind. You, you had your ACL. Yes. You've now admitted that you're probably going to pack it in and, and retire at that point but then you went back to try it again. I just want to ask you again about that because I think you ended up playing nine games uh, and you got those, you got four goals and you got that goal at York and your recovery where you first, where you last scored as well. If in, in your mind, if you'd almost told yourself that wouldn't happen, was that almost just like a dream? Uh, and was it hard to believe that that was actually happening again, that you were back in the, under Patrice Geyser in Halifax, a different era, a different generation? Yeah, a hundred percent. It still it still feels like a dream. Um, I had a completely different life here in Brazil, and suddenly just changed it again to what I lived for 25, 26 years. I'd say because if when I was three, I was kicking ball already. So I'd say like twenty four years, and uh, it felt like a dream. Honestly, uh, I look back right now. It was, it's been only two two months <laughs> since I left, but. It's still like was it was it real? Because I was there, I was with my family, like my son was watching my games. And that, that interview after the game with you that I like I've 
I was really emotional because it wasn't it, I was I was like thinking like oh my god like what, what's happening like it's it's weird to be here again and scoring and feeling that same thing that I felt like two years like one year ago so it was really nice it feels like a dream but like it was a really good dream so that's great. And you'll forever have that connection now with your son who got to see you play. And I know yeah. when you were a kid, how much Ronaldo inspired you uh, as a little boy <laughs> six watching the 2002 World Cup final. And who knows whether your little boy will be, uh, you know, playing football and be inspired by you now. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm a guy that I won't force him to do nothing. So he'll decide. But if he follows my step, like perfect. If he doesn't, then that's fine for me as long as he's happy but it would be nice if he if he did so <laughs> let's see if he likes it or not but I'm, I'm gonna make sure he watches like us walking on the pitch like a hundred times so <laughs> there you go forever connected to canadian football that'd be nice for us as well yeah um so what's next yeah. what's next Joe? have you allowed yourself to think about like you want to stay in the game like have you got other projects going on um, what's the what's post football going to be like for you as a player um, I think it's going to be nothing related to football in my life anymore. I don't, I don't see myself being an agent, being a coach. It's, it's hard to watch football. It's really hard for me to watch football. So, um, obviously I'm going to watch like the big games. I'm going to still watch Halifax Wanderers, but, um, I'll try, I'll try to keep myself away from football so I don't feel like coming back again. <laughs> but yeah, I, my family's got a, a company here in Brazil. It's it's growing a lot. It's big already. Uh, we have a construction company. I was doing that last year a bit. So uh, I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to help my brothers. My brothers are taking over right now. My dad's 72, so he's slowing down. He needs to. He doesn't want to, but he needs to. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're taking over the the company. We we have to take care of the family. So um, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided yet, but that's more likely to happen. Sounds great. Well, I'm glad you have a plan. That's really important to keep you busy. Last one is this: is um, do you have words for Canadian Premier League fans? I know that fans of cross Canada love watching you play, and in particular Halifax. Like, how will you remember that time and and the and the message to them? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, I want to thank everyone. Uh, the fans around Canada, they're really nice. Um, I felt really supported by everyone in the league when I had my injury. So that's something that it, it makes you like, it, it makes you want to do, like, keep keep doing what you're doing. So um, thanks to every fan in the league and uh it's been like a big part of my life and my career, so I owe I owe that to, to everyone in Canada and the the in the Canadian Premier League as well. And it's like a special thank you to to the Halifax Wonders fans. They're incredible. Um, they supported us through good and bad. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss that. But but I'm happy. I'm happy with my decision. I think it was. It was necessary for me to be there just for for me to to help the team and for them to help myself and i think it was a good combination there and uh yeah i'm so glad i'm so happy that you're at peace and you're content with the decision um you know we're in a really a league of uh, growth right now we just had a fantastic final i'm sure you saw it Fourteen thousand yeah. people in yes. hamilton an amazing year yes. Um, but it, let it be known, let the record state that coming out of COVID and the bubble year, 2021, year three was absolutely pivotal for the success of this league. And you, my friend, won Golden Boot and very much a deserved player of the year. And at a time when we need some sparkle, we need some difference makers, uh, you were the best player in 2021. And that will forever, the record will forever state that. So not only were you an important player for Halifax Wanderers, but you were absolutely crucial for the development of the Canadian Premier League. We're so thankful here in Canada that you chose us. Uh, God bless you and your family and wish you all the best in retirement. And thanks so much for some time today. Yeah, I appreciate it. And that's one of the parts as well that makes me really happy. So um, I think my job's done there. I, I hope I helped a lot. And just know that you guys helped me a lot too with my 
my mental health and everything. So I'm really thankful to to make that decision in the past. And thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. Forever a wanderer, forever part of the CPL family. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.